My name is Young L, aka Mr. Mali, from West Africa, Nigeria. And um, yeah, I grew up in Joss. Been doing music for a while now. If I was to describe my sound, I would say Zim Life, but for more understanding, I would say it's a, it's a Afro dancer. So it's like Afro, it's like African music. So you're gonna have like hip life, high life, and dancehall, dancehall that has the whole bashment and reggae basically. So it's a, it's a mashup of both of them. How long have I been doing music professionally? I would say since 2012, professionally. Before then, I've just been doing vibes, writing music, and um, doing stuff, but putting my own stuff. Started in 2012. I dropped my first single, um, Red Rose in 2012 and uh, SOS 2013. Before then I've been writing songs and I was on um, Ice Prince's album. We did um, Baby, we did Magic Shan, you know, um, did um, other records. So yeah, but my own, I can say 2012. The major song, apart from Red Rose, my first single, because it was, it was very different, very slow tempo and stuff. And you know, yeah, but I would say SOS, this song that, you know, got the big recognition, the awards and stuff. The inspiration behind that song was everyday life. I was going through some things with some friends, you know what I mean? I went into business with some friends and when the business didn't go how we planned, they like they just switched on me. So it just made me just understand that man, like this life is crazy. And even people that you you've known for over 15 years, when it comes to like money, they can just change it for you. So it, it, it really just came to me naturally. Like I wasn't planning on writing a song like that. I was just I think I was in the north then and I was just going through it, talking to my lawyer, talking to their lawyers, blah 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 and it just it just hit me up and, and that's when the song just came actually. What was running through my mind when I was shooting the video is um, my friend TG, the director, when we did um, Get Up, the first one we ever worked was Get Up myself and Ricardo Banks. So when I played him the EP and he was like, yo, out of all these songs, I want to shoot one in particular, which is IE. I was like, okay, cool, we shoot IE, but let's drop Get Up. So we already knew that we want to go extreme, we want to do, we want to have the best video of the year with IE. So we've been going back and forth with ideas and um, I wanted something that, that, makes, that makes you understand the song a little bit deeper, but I didn't want to do too much storyline. I wanted you to just understand like daily life, you know what I mean? Having like a man supporting like women's rights and when he goes back home, he's beating his wife. So it's just like, bro, like what are you saying? It's daily things that we experience every day. So. I just wanted to throw more light in that visually and yeah, I'm glad that we did that. It's a six track EP, it's, I worked with six different producers, it's, jollification is like like a word, I, I actually thought it's like an African word that is not in the dictionary, I just knew that everybody that is in Africa and Nigeria, you know what jollification means, you know what it means to jolly, it's like happiness. It's when the EP came out that I now found out that it's actually a proper English word, jollification is like to me, merry, merry man. So, it just all, you know, sing together and you just celebrating life, just being happy, but not also forgetting that there are ups and downs in life. Just when you listen to IE, you know that, you know, even the enjoyment, there's still life that goes on that you need to know how people are, how to coordinate yourself. Just get up where you just party, then just cover me for proper Afro dance or vibe, you know what I mean? It has everything, just six songs, but like proper delicacy. Um, hustling, full-time hustler. Once you're born of Nigerian origin, you're born with hustling in your blood. So full-time hustling, you know, buying and selling. Whatever I can do to make money, bro. You, if you're in Nigeria, you can't have one job now. You, you're a full-time hustler. So wherever the money calls, I'm there into farming, into business, buying and selling. I also have a company that I run with a couple of friends, Zim Life, you know, entertainment brand and outfit. So we have that everywhere there's money, man. You find it. You see it in the sell potato for I did there, bro. <laughs> there everywhere. Hmm. That's crazy because I don't go out a lot, a lot. My favorite hangout spot. Um, I don't remember their names now, but there's one place on the mainland where they sell rice. It's close to shop rice. One rice spot, open shop right on the mainland. Late, 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 late. Um, where else? Um, I, I like the beach, so I'm always, anywhere I'm on the beach, like I'm happy. So sometimes I just go to the beach, just chill out, and um, yeah. Any artsy stuff, I'm also big on that. I'm big on fashion, so anywhere that, you know, I find new vibes, and yeah. 